Hello and welcome to the unit two review. The first question I have is that we want to find f plus g of x, f plus g of negative two, and f plus g of five a. For f of x being two x squared minus four, and g of x being two x plus five. Adding these two functions for the f plus g of x consists of adding 2x squared minus 4 plus 2x plus 5. And there's not much that can be combined, but just to write it all out, this is 2x squared plus 2x. We have negative 4 plus 5, that'll be a plus 1. So if we put negative 2 into this, sum of two functions. This would be two times negative two squared plus two times negative two plus one. So this would be eight minus four plus one. So the answer to that would be five. And then just to put five a into the function, so f plus g of 5a, this will be 2 times 5a squared plus 2 times 5a plus 1. So in our case, this will be 50a squared plus 10a plus 1. The second question, find the indicated function values for f of x is equal to 5x minus 3 divided by x minus 5. And we want to find this for f of 0 and f of a plus h. So that, for us to do that, we are going to put 0 in for x first, f of 0. 5 times 0 minus 3 divided by 0 minus 5. This will make negative 3 divided by negative 5, so 3 fifths. And if we put a plus h in for x, this would be f of a plus h this would be 5 times a plus h minus 3 divided by a plus h minus 5. That slightly simplifies to be 5a plus 5h minus 3 all divided by a plus h minus 5. The uh, third one. Write the point slope form of the equation of a line with the slope of negative one fifth that passes through the point nine comma four. Then using this point slope form, write the slope intercept form of the equation in function notation. So that um, point slope form based on this point and the slope, this would be y minus four is equal to negative one fifth times x minus nine. Distributing the negative one fifth, we get y minus four is equal to negative one fifth x plus nine fifths. Adding the four over, we get y is equal to negative one fifth x plus 29 over five. And then the function notation for that point, uh, slope intercept form is f of x is equal to negative one fifth x plus 29 over five. 
the fourth question. is to write the equation for a line in point slope form that passes through the point negative two, three, and is perpendicular to three X minus two Y is equal to eight. And then use the point slope form to write the slope intercept form of the equation in function notation. So first and foremost, three uh, X minus two Y is equal to eight. We need the slope from that. So we're going to first subtract the three X from both sides. And this will make negative two Y is equal to negative three X plus eight. Then when we divide by negative two, we would get Y is equal to three halves X minus four. So, Based on the slope of three halves, we want the perpendicular line. So perpendicular to three halves is then going to be a slope of negative two thirds, the opposite reciprocal, uh, based on this point negative two three. So um, point slope form would be y minus three is equal to negative two thirds times x plus two. Distributing that negative two thirds would give us y minus three is equal to negative two thirds x minus four thirds. Adding the three is going to give us y is equal to negative two thirds X plus adding three over would give us five thirds. And the function notation for this is F of X is equal to negative two thirds X plus five thirds. Uh, the fifth one. We want to find the slope of the line passing through the points negative four nine, uh, negative four comma nine, and five comma two. Then indicate whether the line through the points rises from the left to right, falls from left to right, is vertical or is horizontal. Uh, which point is the first point versus the second point? Um, just changes the equation slightly, but not two different, you should get the same answer. Um, I'm going to call the negative four comma nine my first point. And the five comma two my second point. So this will be two minus nine divided by five minus negative four. We get a negative seven in the numerator. Five, uh, since we have the double negative, five plus four is to make a nine. So the slope is negative seven ninths. And because it's negative, this is going to fall from left to right. The sixth question, determine whether the following relation is a function and then give the domain and range for said relation. Uh, the points negative four comma negative four, one comma one, 10 comma 10, zero comma zero. Um, each X value is only mapped to one Y value. So yes, this is a function. So yes, it is a function. Domain. Since we just have the points, you would just list off each values of that. I'm going to do an order from least to greatest, uh, negative four, zero, one, and 10. And the range is exactly the same. Negative four, zero, 
one and 10 based on those four points. And then the last one I have on here, based on this piecewise function, f of x is equal to two x if x is less than one, uh, negative one, five if x is between negative one and two, including the negative one, but not the two, and negative one half times x plus four if x is greater than or equal to two. I have the graph here to the right that shows that going on, including the open circles to denote where it's those funky um, um, portions are happening in the inequalities. But we want these different function values. I have three of them here. F of negative two. And that'll be based on the top equation. So two times negative two makes negative four f of negative one, negative one is only included in the middle one. So this would just make five. And f of two, again, two is only included in the bottom one. So negative one half times two plus four gives us a value of three. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.